little bit initially about um, the drill press setup. First, we're going to talk about the hold downs, which are these mysterious shapes and pieces of black metal. Um, that is this workstation over here. Uh, you've got two setups. You've got red and black or blue. Um, you'll notice that these are a little bit bigger. Some of the components. The main difference is that the thread size is going to be a little bit bigger on the blue than the red. So just keep that in mind. That only really matters when you're trying to interchange the, these nuts and these T nuts. Okay. Um, so we're going to start to try to use all the blue stuff we can because it's the most complete of the two sets. There are parts missing in the red set. Just keep that in mind. Um, so what are these for, right? Uh, if you've spent enough time in a, me a metal shop, you always see this stuff and it's somewhat of a mystery. These are actually extremely handy. Why do we use these with a vise? It's because this vise, the, the slots, as you can sort of see here, don't line up with the, the T slots where you could conventionally use this setup where you have a T nut going into the T slot and then bolting through the slot in the vise. That's unfortunately not um, possible with this setup, but don't dismay, that's what, why these are in use. Um, they really consist of, again, the T nut, a piece of threaded all red, uh, threaded uh, rod, all thread, and they kind of are a nice cheat. What you do is you bottom out that all thread into the T nut. You have these little stands right here that um, have these teeth in it, and then these little reach around guys that clip into it just like this. And so the whole idea is that you're kind of using uh, this back side to lift up, tighten down on this front side through this slot right there, and it then applies a downward force onto whatever you're working on, in this case, the vise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that in just like so, and try to snuggle it up. Um, it, it's if you can zoom in there, Michael, you see how those teeth aren't really, like if you're really high up, they're not meshing so well. That's not going to fail, but it's better to try to get a better grip, like a better meshing, still having a slight incline onto the workpiece, okay? It's, you got to pick the right length threaded rod because you'll, you would probably saw a second ago, let me grab another one, you stay right there. They don't, they're not threaded all the way through. So it's kind of a trick to find the right length of threaded rod for whatever setup you're doing. So anyway, the whole idea is you just tighten this down. And this is a 22 millimeter wrench, and we'll just leave a wrench out on that's 22 millimeters to make life a lot easier. And you sort of hand tighten that down, and when you come back in, you can use a box end wrench or this style right here, and apply force, and you don't have to get crazy tight with this. You just sort of nice and snug and, and really you just want to make sure that this isn't going to move around. Okay? If there's no play in this, it's generally tight enough. Okay? So, that's the hold down. So, okay, that's the vise, right? Well, the whole idea here is that you're not going to use wood on this machine. This is a machine that if you were to try to come in here and drill a sacrifice or have a sacrifice piece of wood right here so that oh great I'm gonna drill into the wood then I can stop and I know I'm not going to ruin the top of the drill press table well that's not what we want to do because that'll clog up the interworkings of the pump that's the coolant pump so I'm going to show you a quick example of how to get around that you basically take these larger hold down clamps and you just raise the part up off and then now you can come over with the medium sized hold downs use a similar setup and the, the philosophy is the same here methodology I should say is the same um, you probably use different lengths of all thread and we'll probably use different lengths of these little teeth standoffs and those are too short okay that's too short so I'm gonna get the next size up 
which would be this guy. And that's going to allow me to arrange my clamps in such a way that now I can hold down this piece. And so the setup again is similar to what I showed you before, where you have the all thread into the T nut. That looks like a good height of all thread or length of all thread. Come back and set that up. You can see now everything looks good. The teeth are meshing in well. It's a slight incline. I'm not going to obviously drill into this. And yeah, finger tight, and then you clamp. Okay. And always finger tight both sides first. All right. That'll help prevent this from moving around when you apply wrench force to it. Okay. Um, now. How do we not drill into this? That's probably going to be uh, the first thing we talk about in the drill press video.